The X-Men are back, and not in the MCU yet, but in their brand new original series that is a continuation off the original X-Men, the animated series, and that is called X-Men 97. And since we are here talking about the X-Men today, I have this amazing 3D printed helmet of Wolverines to display off and talk about this series. Shout out to my friend Donnie for making this. You can check out his link down below if you want to purchase any 3D prints. Definitely go hit him up on Instagram, but actually getting into the series... I grew up with the original animated series and I absolutely loved it. I thought it was so incredible at the time. And while it ended actually the year that I was born, the fact that it like still to this date is like one of the most mature in its themes and seriousness and specifically what the original creators wanted the X-Men to be. They had all of that in the original show and it never left to be. And while I definitely grew up more with the Spider-Man animated series, please make that next. X-Men 97, really brings back this in like a way that I didn't think a new sequel continuation series could actually harken back those original memories of watching this on Saturday morning cartoons and enjoying the shit out of it, but also reinventing and revitalizing my love for the X-Men. It's genuinely probably the best thing about the series is how much it makes you love the X-Men once again. And I also love that this series might pick up right after the original animated series, which I have not watched in years, but it picks up immediately afterwards. And it never feels like it loses the beat. It never feels like you're missing something. It feels like you're opening a page of the comic book, just like how the original series did feel for me when I watch it. I never watched it consistently through until again, maybe like five, six years ago but I'd watch an episode and be like, this is awesome. And it always felt like the stakes were so high in there. And while certain storylines were definitely moving forward to other episodes, again, it never felt like I was missing a beat. And 97 seamlessly does this and creates the best storytelling we've had of the X-Men probably since the original series. And I say that as someone who loves X-Men First Class, who loves X-Men Days of Future Past, who adores Logan, who loves Deadpool, but all those movies I just mentioned either got a character right, a couple characters right, but I never actually thought they got the X-Men themselves down. And it's tough to do in a movie. I mean, when you have only like two hours to tell a consistent story, how are you gonna do that? X-Men 97 displays what the X-Men should be while giving every single character something to do and also something to love about each of every one of them. Especially even a character like Morph, which I don't think, maybe I'm like blanking, I don't think we've ever seen in live action. And I know he was in the original animated series and all this stuff, but the way and usage of him is fantastic. It's great. Even Jubilee in the original series, I remember, was so well used, and the original, like, the movies just never use him. They just use Wolverine a lot. It's okay, because I love Wolverine, as you can clearly tell, but 97 just, it blew my mind. And I'm so excited to be talking about this series today. So make sure to leave your thoughts down below. Who is your favorite X-Men? And specifically, did you watch the original animated series? Again, you did not have to watch this to still enjoy this. It absolutely would help. Go watch a recap if you're worried, but do not let this show fail. We more of the original Marvel animated series coming back to the, to the forefront, such as Spider-Man. I'm really hoping for that one next. So one more caveat is this is only a review of the first three episodes. That is what Disney sent over to me. I will not be diving into spoilers on this. I will be pretty vague when it comes to touching into this since the series just premiered today as you are watching this but let's dive into this flat out the first thing i want to get out of the way is actually one of my things that i was most worried about the series and that is the animation i didn't know how they were going to do it i didn't know if they were actually going to make it look gimmicky like the original series or if they were going to go something a little bit more what if style and while i enjoy what if style i think it's pretty cool it's a little unique for me this is actually the best mix of everything. In fact, I think it's actually even better than the original, and clearly it should be, but they keep it 2D animation while giving it this 3D effect, and it's very rare when a series and even a movie can do this, but it's so clean, imaginative, and it's really hard to describe how it works, but watching this series, and again, e even from the trailer I had some like weird instances about it, but seeing fully fleshed out sequences and fully fleshed out scenes in this animation style, it, it beautifully transitions and brings, again, if you go back and watch the original series, brings it into the modern day scenario with at the same time honing in that same time period of where we last saw them. And again, it's, it's just something to marvel at. It's jaw dropping. It's 
just so great, especially once you get into the ant action sequences, which are just wonderful. Everyone's been talking about the Gambit and Wolverine teaming up when he slashes like that. I, I love it, but trust me when I say this, there's even bigger and better surprises in here. Specifically in the way that the first three episodes are actually really played out, I was genuinely surprised to see like what storylines they adapted, who they brought in, what certain things they were moving forward in. By episode three, let, let me tell you right now, episode three, holy shit. It is, I, I, I mean, genuinely, it's like one of the best things I've seen, including the original animated series, and that's saying a lot. And I, I, I loved it, and I love what it sets up for the future of this. The first three episodes really bring us back into fruition, but by episode three, it's a whole new storyline. It sets up every single layer of what we need to see going forward, and it brings in a villain that I was so joyously happy to see in here. Usage of them was terrifying, and a lot of that does go back to the animation. Alongside that, the writing of this series is just as great as the original series, if not again better. The way that they hone in and bring in modern ways of telling stories, but are not afraid that even though this is a technically a kids TV show, it's not afraid to dive in to actual scenarios and themes that the X-Men have always wanted to verse through in their time. This is one thing that has been very much prevalent through the X-Men through all their comic books. And while some of the movies have definitely gotten it but more on a surface level attempt, the thing that I loved about the original series is that they were able to always be progressive and moving forward. And 97 does the same. It takes those ideas and pushes them forward, making the X-Men feel relevant to today's standard once again. Loved all that. Love the writing. Love the storyline specifically and how we're mixing and matching all the different characters and bringing them to this world. Love seeing again the dynamics and where we maybe miss someone. And again, it just puts a big smile on my face getting to see this come to life. I never thought, like if you would have asked me 10 years ago, I'd be like, yeah, that would be awesome to see like a continuation of that series, but we'll never get it. But we are. And like Marvel listened to the fans and gave us it. And I will literally not forgive any of you if the show gets canceled because like it shouldn't. Like this show is so damn good and so well written. And if you were an adult that grew up watching the original series, this is your time to shine. Go support the damn show. Yeah, I've talked about how great the characters are in here, how well written they are and how much you come to love them all again. And it's great to see Cyclops get just love to shine. I hated how they used them in the movies. And this is just like top tier why Cyclops was one of my favorites as a kid. Wolverine's obviously great. I love how they used Morph. I want a little bit more of Gambit, but I'm liking what they're using so far. Rogue is fantastic. Magneto, I, I love what they're doing there. Jean Grey, who has been like, like prevalently a very annoying character in the movies lately. Awesome in this as well. Beast, Storm, the rest can just go on and on from there. You absolutely know what you're getting with them and I love it. Of course, a lot of people are gonna be asking, okay, does this have the original th theme, the song? Yeah, it does. And it's perfectly recreated. Uh, that definitely put a smile on my face every time. I mean, genuinely every time the episode started, I got so hyped. This actually might be one of the few series, I'm not sure when, when Disney Plus is actually releasing the episodes on times. I don't know if they're doing it at six o'clock, the, the Tuesday before, or if they're doing it at midnight. I think they're doing it at midnight. I wish it was kind of releasing on a Saturday morning because I would wake up early and watch it every single time. But this might be something that I sit back, I wake up at like right around midnight and I tune in and enjoy the shit out of. And I can't wait to have my own kid one day and show them the original series and also now show them this. This is like my childhood come back to life. And it really does feel like while it's a burst of nostalgia towards me, it is something that I'm so excited to have here now. And I have no issues. I found X-Men 97 to be perfect. Because to me, my X-Men 97 was everything I wanted and more. A perfect comeback for the original X-Men team that so many once fell in love with, all will fall all in love with once again. I want more, I need more, I'm so happy. X-Men 97 is the X-Men at their best. The animation is jaw dropping once again. I love the storylines. I am so happy with the series and I definitely can't wait to hear your guys' thoughts down below in the comment section. So make sure to leave your thoughts down there. And I'll set it with the first three episodes of X-Men 97 so far, this series is perfect, and I'm going to give it an A+. Definitely one of my favorite series of the year so far. Thanks so much again for tuning in, and of course, until next time, stay classy.